Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Frankie Slauson Show. And today, i got a special guest here with me. i got a guy who you might know if you're familiar with the whole YouTube fam damly shaytard ism <laughs> well we got the guy yeah we got the guy who's uh well we'll say the leader of the fam damn nation anyway mr carl olin's a lot here and uh sorry mm-hmm. sorry for the bad quality here uh because i think uh you kind of blur it out a little bit but that's okay i, I can hear you just fine yeah it's all good who cares nobody wants to see my ugly mug anyway they just <laughs> They just want to ask questions about my wife, and uh, they want to know about. I don't. I have no idea what what you're going to even ask me today. So I'm excited. Well, I, I hope you are, <laughs> and and, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a thrill for me to be able to do this with you because I've been I've been a fan of yours for quite a while, and I I watch pretty much just about every uh, fam family video that you've uh, put out. So it's an honor. Cool. <laughs> All well, right. Thank you. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Hey, no problem. So we'll start with the first question, and and, uh, and we'll just kind of. I got like thirteen questions here that I want to ask you, and if you have any yeah. other other questions, you can feel free to fill in if you want. It's up to you. Okay, yeah, I got one, I got one question real quick. Am okay. I the first interview after your interview with Diamond Dallas Page? Am I the next one? Uh, actually, uh, I interviewed Diamond Dallas Page way back in two thousand six. So. You're supposed to say yes. Oh. Say yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Well, and that and that yeah yeah you know the Diamond Dallas Page, eh? <laughs> yeah. And, and, and see that was uh, that was not a Skype interview that was a, a radio interview that I did when I was on the air uh, for Pioneer Night for One when right. I was in Minnesota. So anyway, uh, let's get started here. The first question that I want to ask you is uh, what started the whole YouTube interest. Um, oh boy, the YouTube interest started a long time ago. I watched YouTube, I started watching it like, I don't know, four, four and a half years ago. I started watching, you know, people would send you videos and stuff like that. Just like the little comedy stuff. Uh, but I was working a job at a prison. Uh, I worked there for several years at a, at a prison. And the, the sad thing is, is I worked, uh, I got assigned to work with, sex offenders which oh, is not funny at all and when you work with a certain population of people uh and i was going into social work uh in college and <clears throat> you know, i was becoming more and more depressed as an individual uh. and uh i would go to work and i would come home i just was not happy when, when you know certain things about society and about people that live around you and 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 just kind of the ugly side of life um it can it, you know it's it can weigh down on you and it was weighing down on me it was taking its toll emotionally and mentally on me and youtube ended up being one of those outlets <clears throat> for me to explore kind of a bigger world like where people are having a great time and making friends and getting out and taking their camera and going and doing fun things with their families and uh, and stuff like that. So we, I, I asked for a video camera for my birthday, and my wife got me a flip cam like two years ago. And we started going out and doing fun stuff. And next thing I know, I'm not working in the, in the prison environment anymore. And we're doing all kinds of uh, cool stuff. And, yeah, so that's kind of how we got started in YouTube was just as a reason to get out and and do things as a family and the camera was and YouTube was a good excuse to push us out the door and going and doing fun stuff with our with our kids rather than just being stuck in the regular, oh, the okay. regular grind. Oh no yeah. that, that, that's cool. Uh, um I, I think it's kinda interesting that uh that you, you take the time to even just uh to do uh videos, whether they're daily videos or they're weekly videos or whatever. I think you uh I think you offer a lot of different variety that most families probably wish they could offer, you know, as far as, like, uh, you know, if they ever wanted to do videos themselves. But a lot of families don't do that. A lot of, do you, you know why that is? Why a lot of families don't want to want to uh, take part in something like YouTube or whatever? Well, I, I think uh, that's an interesting question. I've never thought of that one before. I think a lot of people are, are embarrassed uh, about themselves. I've always been kind of the class clown when I was in high school and uh-huh. growing up and uh, 
Whenever we get, I'm, I'm, it's funny because in in real life, when <laughs> not, not just YouTube, yeah. life, uh, <clears throat> I don't have a lot of like friends that live locally around, like right around me. I, I mean, I've got lots of friends and people that I know, but uh, YouTube kind of, it's uh, I don't know. I, I'm good at like acting. I did I did like a lot of stuff in high school and in drama. And I was did some stuff in college. I did some acting in college, uh, and a lot of different stuff like that. But even at, even in like at work and in school and everywhere, I I had my friends kind of knew me as like the the class clown. I was goofed around, and I think a lot of people are embarrassed to just be themselves. Yeah. And so to turn the camera around and point it at yourself, uh, you have to be pretty confident in who you are and not be worried about what people are going to say. And honestly, like, I just, <clears throat> I don't care if people don't like me. Yeah. <laughs> and I find that uh, if people meet me and get to know me, I'm pretty easy to get along with and pretty nice guys. So it's like uh, people that, that decide they don't like me, I just don't, I just don't really care. It yeah. Really bother me. I have a lot more people that I have, fr I have a lot more friends than I have people that hate me. So, I'm not nervous to turn the camera on myself or or just to have fun with my wife, and she's the same way. You know, we just have a good time with it. I think a lot of people don't do it because I think they're just self-conscious and they're, they're worried <laughs> what people are going to criticize about them. Or, um, also, I think there's a bigger learning curve than people realize when it comes to uh, just from just filming. You can't just turn the camera on and film and then just like plug one big 10-minute video up there's a lot of technical stuff that goes into being able to know how to edit and get the right frame size, uh, get the right quality for YouTube and sure. uh, upload all of that stuff. Uh, and then to get it online, I think a lot of people just, there's a big time, a bigger time commitment and learning curve, like knowledge that you have to gain in order to, to do it, especially daily, doing daily videos yep. where you actually edit a lot together is a lot more challenging and takes way more time than people realize. What? A, ten, a ten minute vlog sometimes will take five hours worth of work to uh -huh. get it up and running and online. Well, I noticed that you, you've, you've come a long way since the early days of the fam, especially on the fam Danley channel. Uh, mm -hmm. It was like around, oh God, earlier this year or whatever, I think uh, when you started actually doing more uh, crazy editing, I'd say. Right. <laughs> and, and uh, uh, some of this stuff, I, I don't know. I, I, I get a I get a kick out about it anyway. That's for sure. And it seems like your your family really uh, responds pretty good. Like like not just your your wife and your kids, but like your parents, uh, your brothers, your 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 you know your other relatives. They seem like they're pretty. They seem pretty uh, supportive with you. I think they're just amazed that I'm not dead by now. <laughs> they're just happy I'm still doing something. <laughs> no. Uh, honestly, I think a lot of it is that we had a lot of people that were skeptical at first, and they're like, I can't believe you're going to put all this private stuff out there yeah. on the Internet about your life. But honestly, you know, I'm the one that does the editing, so I can control what I put in the videos and what I don't and yeah. how I edit it. And everybody knows our, my sense of humor and my sarcasm yep. and things like that. And so I think my, like my parents and my siblings and family are really supportive uh, because it's like they get to see us every day even though we don't have to actually come over yeah and it's funny because you know i think my family they like me better online than in real life <laughs> <laughs> so it's better for them if i yeah. just stay away and just kind of show them what my kids are doing <laughs> no <laughs> so so no, yeah they've been really supportive it's been great so when we talk about family uh, I want to. I want the, the viewers to actually get to know a, a, a different side of you that they probably they probably know a lot about you. The ones who are subscribed to you and whatnot. But like, let's yeah. talk about your childhood and life growing up before the days of YouTube and internet media. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I pretty much grew up uh, in, a, in a small town. Um, both of my parents worked. And part of the reason I'm, I'm as big as I am is I uh, I grew up in a in a restaurant. My parents owned a sandwich shop. It's not even a food chain. It was called Hoagie Heaven. Oh jeez. And so I grew up eating like pizza subs and potato chips and root beer like my whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in a restaurant. Anyway, we uh, 
Yeah, we moved when I was about uh, six or seven years old, and we moved to a small town. It's actually called Sugar City, a uh, very tiny, small population. Uh-huh. Um, and I did, uh, I actually got into karate when I was about uh, 13 years old. My, my dad went and took me to a karate lesson, and I thought, I can beat these guys up. But <laughs> no. They, that's not even true, but I, I took a lot of uh, karate lessons. I ended up actually being a martial arts instructor uh, oh. for a long time, and I, so I did like martial arts. Um, I bought a guitar when I was a freshman in high uh-huh. school and learned to play the guitar, and I got into acting when I was in junior high, um, <clears throat> and my parents got our first computer when I was 13. And then, all, like, a year later, we had this magical thing called the Internet that my dad came and hooked up. And we had to dial it, like, dial the number. And it was uh-huh. like, good old dial-up. You know, God, God bless dial-up. Dial <laughs> yeah. And, so, and then this uh, search engine called Yahoo came around, and they offered this thing called email. And everybody was doing email. And I thought, this is so cool. And my middle name is Olin, O-L-I-N. Oh is my middle name. My ancestors are from Norway, and it's like a Norwegian name. So uh, I thought, what would be a cool name using my middle name? So I thought Lancelot and uh, the Knights of the Round Table. So I went with Olancelot. And so I've had the same email, Yahoo email, Olancelot, yahoo.com, since I was 13, and it's just stuck, and that's kind of how it ended up with my my YouTube name. But, um, yeah, it was pretty typical... Uh, growing up, I didn't have any sisters. I just had three <coughs> brothers, and uh, oh, pretty common background, really. Well, that's that's cool. I mean, that uh, it seems like uh, life was pretty much just like how how it is for anybody when they're growing up before that before they learn more uh, more about what life's about later on as you get older. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, uh, I, I as following your videos like I have. I know that you were obviously a part of the karate uh, was a big part of your life uh, when you were growing up, uh, as you just mentioned, and as I knew from watching your videos. What inspired you to do karate? Um, my brother beating the crap out of me like, every morning before school. <laughs> that was a huge inspiration. It was like every morning. It was just like an angel came down and says, Carl... Yeah. You better do karate or he's going to kill you. Oh, jeez. And <laughs> no, it's not it wasn't that bad. <laughs> um honestly it was <clears throat> when I was uh growing up I always liked football, but I always had uh I, I never gravitated towards the team sports as much uh because I always felt like as much as I tried uh, and played really hard, a lot of times my my team would still lose and there was nothing that I could do about it and I started gravitating towards kind of the individual sports where it was just me against one other dude and uh, we could compete that way and I could do it on my own at my own pace. Sure. And, uh, yeah. And so I, I gravitated towards that and I found that, you know, I was actually, uh, for being as big and strong as I was as a kid, I was actually really flexible and pretty fast. So I did really well with martial arts. I started when I was 13 and by the time I was 16, I was already the state champ and I was ranked fourth in the world in my division, uh-huh. and I held that rank for two years. Uh, and so I just felt like it was something I was I was pretty talented with and picked up really quick. So. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, do you think that your kids may follow in your footsteps with martial arts? Yes, but I'm very picky. <laughs> uh, I don't want to be the one that teaches them. Oh yeah, um, of course not. <laughs> I, you know, I want to help them, but I, de- I definitely don't want to be the instructor because I don't want that, <laughs> that burden. But they, uh, I have a hard time finding karate dojos that uh, I feel confident taking my kids to. I'm, sure. I'm pretty particular about what type of gym and what type of style and what type of instructors are going to be there and their equipment and everything. So when I find the right one, I'm definitely going to give them the opportunity, but I'm not going to force them to do it. I'll, if they, if they want to do it, I'll totally support that. Well, yeah. I noticed that uh, in one of the videos that you did, uh, you actually went,